Welcome back to Independence War, my friends. Uh, you may recall last time we had to fix a FTL communication thingy me jigger, and uh, all kinds of crazy stuff happened. So the next mission is the siege, and I have no idea. I'm forgetting what happened now from this point on. So let's figure it out. Let's go. The siege. That was a great movie too. Annette Bening, Denzel Washington. As you know, we have been blockading the midway jump point in the UV SETI system for some months now. We believe the planet to be a center of Indy activity, and the jump point forms the gateway from the associated systems to the rest of known space. By blocking this tactically significant point, we are able to isolate a group of problem systems, as well as prevent Indy shipping coming in or going out of the system. Okay. Seems reasonable. On screen is a representation of the Midway planet and moon. There are two Lagrange points allowing access to the system. Mm -hmm. In an earlier mission, we were able to lock off one of the two Lagrange points with a Type 24 minefield. Ooh. This leaves the second point open. Mm -hmm. It is this point which we are currently blockading. The siege fleet has three cruiser command vessels as well as numerous corvette and patcom squadrons on patrol. Admiral Brett is flying out to oversee operations. He needs transport to Midway and has decided to hitch a ride on the dreadnought. Again? <sighs> Admiral Brett will be spending his tour on the Vostok, so your first objective will be to dock with the cruiser and see the Admiral safely on board. Yes, ma'am. Once that is complete, your mission will be to locate and relieve Captain Chowdhury on the Cape Town, who has been on active patrol for over a week. I am sure she'll be very pleased to stand down. Okay. Once there, follow orders from the command ships in supporting the siege. Hmm, all right. to Dreadnought. You have permission to undock. Over. Capsule jump destination for Midway. Laid in. So, I'm guessing it's all four. Okay. Well, that's what we're gonna do. No. Oh, well, five. I guess that works, too. Yeah, we don't need to do the autopilot for this. Rusters off. Rusters on. Here we go. Oh no, of course. Sorry, that's what, that's what this game does. We're so often. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Come on. Yep. I know. STC to Dreadnought. You have permission to undock over. Capsule jump destination for Midway. Laid in. Lost my centering again. Weird how it does this. But the force feedback works, so that's kind of nifty. Okay, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. You crashed again. Son of a gun! Let's try one more time. Come out, man. Come out. Nope, nope, nope. STC to Dreadnought. You have permission to undock over. Capsule jump destination for Midway. Laid in. I 
I like turning the thrusters off so I still keep going in the same direction. But I can twist myself around like this. Okay, hang on. Don't crash again. It crashed again. All right. Well, I was gonna I was gonna wait to do this for the next. Um, I was gonna wait to do this for the next entry, but I've never really played Defiance. Defiance is an ad, kind of an add-on pack for Independence War, where, uh, hang on a second, where uh, you play as the Indies. So we're going to give that a shot. Just give me one second. I need to add the... Okay, let's see if this... Okay, good. Same thing. Excellent. All right. Okay, let's try this. Course simulation. Indie Patrol. Now, this uh, is meant f for uh, people who have finished the... Um, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, sorry, the, uh, main campaign for Independence War. I just, I just didn't feel right playing the indie, so I've never really played this. So let's do it. But of course, you play a Dreadnought class ship. Mr. Hayes, congratulations on securing your new ship. You've selected an apt name with Spartacus. Hmm. She's a fine vessel, and I'm sure you'll command her well. Your first sortie in the Spartacus is vitally important for the movement. Our munitions are running low. We've lost most of our stockpiles to Navy and pirate attacks. We're having to ration hull plates and seeker missiles to keep the fleet active. A convoy from Enkides is coming through with enough supplies to keep us operational for a week. Mm -hmm. To keep the convoy safe, we've planned several routes and we'll select which one to take at the last minute. We're sending out ships to patrol each system along the convoy's route. Mm -hmm. Your mission is to recon the Monar system and ensure it is safe for the convoy to enter. It's in neutral space, but it's usually quiet, though a few Navy listening posts have been reported in the area. Mm -hmm. Do a sweep of the route to check if it's clear. Mm -hmm. If it's all quiet, rendezvous with the convoy at the L5 point and escort it across the system till it jumps out. Mm -hmm. If you see any sign of Navy activity, FTL the no-go signal and the convoy will be on the lookout for Navy patrols, sensor pods, or even non-allied pirates. Some of those scum think we're easier pickings than Navy transports. We've loaded you up with as much ammunition as we can spare, which isn't really... On a personal note, keep a close eye on that bridge crew of yours. Dawson and Markov are known commodities, but your recruitment of Lotano is just a little unusual. Mm -hmm. We take the Navy's ship's Edison, but an officer as well. Still, Lotano seems to be a competent gunner, if a wee bit excitable. If this mission fails, we're in real trouble. So don't you drop the ball on this one. Good luck. Okie dokie. Interesting. Uh, sure. I guess you uh, get to... Yeah. Okay. Jump coordinates are set for the MoMA system L4. Mr. Lutano, I want a full scan as soon as we jump. Aye, sir. 
Take us through, Sergey. Oh, why is this thing so... F oh. Okay, this is really, like, fast. This is really strange. We have a weak signal of unknown type ahead and two unknown ships on our six. Or we'll blow you to space dust. <laughs> what the what? Investigate that signal. Locking in a waypoint. This game runs really like look at that. Look at that. Jesus Christ. That's Sounds encrypted. It's a navy concrete. Hey, what are those pirates doing there? Monitor Navy communications. Uh oh. What's up? That's good, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Not good. The relay has an alarm circuit. I've just checked the emergency beacon. This baby's broadcasting on all channels. Uh, this uh, system will be crawling with Navy in minutes. Send the no go. I can't. We're being jammed. That was an LTSI missile. 
Indie saboteur, under Commonwealth law, we are now authorized to use lethal force. They're jamming us. We will not be able to test the no gold signal transmitting no response hmm. convoy must have jumped if they get to the l5 point and the navy are there we better get there damn quick then <laughs> two more navy pack comps right between us and the l point we'll have to engage I guess we should end this series here. That was weird. I wonder if it flies better when it's in <clears throat> um, full screeny thingy. Yeah. So, uh, this game is awesome. Well, I don't know about Defiance. I've not played it. But Independence War is awesome. If you don't own it and you haven't played it, it's like, oh my gosh, how much is this? I'm damn curious. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on. Let me see. How much is this in GOG? If I remember, it's like six bucks. Come on. Huh? It is. How much are you selling? Yes, five ninety nine. So six dollars. Uh, you get what's truly an exceptional uh, space sim. Two of them, really. Uh, plus the soundtrack. So yeah, this game is awesome. Uh, it's it's realistic. It's fun. It's hard. Some of the missions are puzzly, like like you saw earlier. So this this game is hard. It's not easy. It is not. Like a more modern game that'll take you by the hand and say, "Do this, do this." No, excuse me. And we've kind of come become accustomed to that. We've kind of come uh, used to that. But uh, this game is awesome. So if you don't own it, you should get it. So thank you for watching this week's uh, series of videos. I was gonna save the defiance thing for another entry, but since the siege kept crashing, I didn't really have a choice. So, uh, yeah, we're only getting five this week. I hope that's okay. So, thanks for watching, and I'll... S what am I doing next week? Crap, I never remember. Uh, what am I doing next week? What am I doing next week? So, next week is... Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Next week is Imperium Galactica 2. My second favorite 4X. It was my favorite for many years until... Um, in A uh, Distant World dethroned it. So that's what we're doing next week. So thanks for watching, and you guys can get this on GOG for six dollars, and I think Steam as well. Let me double check on that, but I think, and I think it's the same price. No, 
Only the second one is on Steam, not the first one. That's really weird, you guys. So yeah, this game, GOG, you get the soundtrack. Keyboard Command uh, reference. Great manuals, really great manuals. Not only do they give uh, some detail about the ship and the um, background of the, of the world, but they're great reads. Uh, I used to just read them just because. I still have my physical copies. So yeah, thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next week with Imperium Galactica 2.